हेलो एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर कल्याण आई एम ए सीनियर न्यूरो सर्जन एंड स्पाइन सर्जन फ्रॉम हैदराबाद आई एम स्पेशली ट्रेंड इन की ओल्स फाइन सर्जरीज एंड की ओल्स कल बेस सर्जरीज आर एंडोस्कोपिक्स फाइन सर्जरीज एंड एंडोस्कोपिक्स कल बेस सर्जरीज आई हैव एक्सटेंसिव एक्सपीरियंस इन डीलिंग विद वेरियस कंडीशन ऑफ स्पाइन एंड ब्रेन द वेरियस कंडीशन ऑफ स्पाइन इंक्लूड डी जनरेटिव डिजीजेस लाइक द स्लिप डिस्क स्पॉन्डेलो लिस्टसिस and also spinal cord trauma vertebral cord injuries spinal cord tumors like glioma ependymomas and congenital diseases like uh, spina bifida tethered cord syndrome and also have extensive experience in dealing with brain tumors which are both malignant and benign in this series i'll be trying to explain you the common condition which my patients keep on asking me now we are very sure that the Keyhole spine surgery are have a lot of advantages compared to the open spine surgery. Then when I when my patient is convinced, one question which comes into his brain is, Keyhole spine surgeries are are a newer technology. They have become very popular over the last ten years. But what are the long term outcomes? Are the long term outcomes of Keyhole spine surgery similar to open spine surgery? are they better than open spine surgery or are they inferior to the open spine surgery so many doctors have told their experience they have published their experience with keyhole spine surgery in the recent literature big bodies big associations have reviewed this literature and they have tried to uh, come out or come to a consensus on the long term outcomes many people and many doctors are the opinion like the long term outcomes of the of the keyhole spine surgery are no inferior or they are comparable to the keyhole spine surgery and there are few doctors who also claim that the long term outcomes of keyhole spine surgery are much better than the open spine surgery one thing when it comes to the long term outcome is one is recurrence of the slip disc at the same level and the chances of the patient developing a slip disc at the adjacent level which is known as the adjacent segment degeneration the adjacent segment degeneration is very common in open spine surgery in the reports in the literature for adjacent level degeneration in open spine surgery is somewhere around 11 to 20% even some literature reports adjacent segment degeneration in open spine surgery up to 33% but the chances of adjacent level degeneration in a keyhole spine surgery are very low and usually as per my experience and also as per some of the literature which is available is less than 5% second one is the recurrence rate the recurrence rate after a surgery at the same level suppose if i am operating at l4 l5 so what is the chances of you having a recurrence rate at the same level at l4 l5 your chances of having a recurrence rate at the same level that is l4 l5 for a long term is around 9 to 11% with both open spine surgery and also keyhole spine surgery the chances of you having an adjacent segment degeneration that is you having a chance of a disc prolapse at l3 l4 or l4 l5 or l5 s1 that is adjacent segment degeneration is higher up more than 10% in open spine surgery and less than 5% in a keyhole spine surgery so as i have told you over a, or even on a long term basis as per the present literature and more according to my experience the keyhole spine surgery is doing better compared to the open spine surgery thank you